Kai, what a win. This has to be the biggest win of your career. Would you agree? Oh, definitely. You know, fight, uh, taking out a former champ. I've been saying it all, all week. You know, Cody had his time. He was the face of the UFC. But like I said, it's my time. 2022, you're looking at the new flyweight world champion. I've got all the momentum. It's not too late to jump on the hype train. <laughs> I won the rematch against Moreno, so let's go. Fair enough. No, that would be really interesting to see. But I want to talk about this fight for a moment. You know, I know that you asked for this one. You asked for this matchup. Um, what was it about Cody moving to flyweight that made you want to face him first? I want to fight the best. And um, what better way to do it than fight a former champ? <laughs> you know, it's funny. At the, at, the, um, at the presser, he was saying, oh, you beg for this. You beg for this fight. Hey, you're too busy trying to fight Sean. This whole time, I've been telling him, don't worry about Sean, worry about me. <laughs> and at the weigh-ins yesterday, I gave him a little taste of what was to come. I had to show my warrior spirit, being New Zealand, being Māori. You know, I'm, I come from a, a warrior um, background where that's how we show respect when we, we, we leave it all on the battlefield. It's like our, our national sport is um, rugby and our, our national teams are all blacks. They do a haka every time before they um, compete against um, other teams. And I just have, get, have to give him a little taste yesterday. So tonight when I stepped in there, I just felt so calm, so relaxed. All the pressure was on him. You know, his, his first time making flyweight, um, his first time trying to reinvent himself at this new weight class. So um, I just had to back myself. I know I'm the best in the world, and um, you saw it tonight. In terms of how that fight really felt for you before you were able to finish Cody Garbrandt, what, did, what are your biggest takeaways? I guess once I got ring control, once I felt, um, when I started fainting, he was a lot more, I guess, reactive. Um, and respecting the range. And then I, once I just found, found connection, landed the first shot, um, I knew it was the beginning of the end. So um, I, when I had him wobbled, I could hear my, my coach in my corners saying, um, Fank, just pick your shots, don't rush in. And then when he started grabbing the, the cage, I was like, oh, here's a, a sun cell hook about to happen. That's when he's most dangerous, when he's hurt, when he's um, desperate. And uh, he shot for the double leg. Uh, we got back up, and then um, I just had to find my, shot, uh, find my feet and then um, and find the next shot. So um, it all worked out. And um, my, my, uh, my nine-month-old son and my wife were in the crowd tonight, so oh. pretty special to have them there. His first ever event, oh and I uh, had his earmuffs on, and I'm uh, pretty proud to see his dad um, yeah, go to work. Oh, my God, that is amazing. Kai, you have always been a flyweight with a ton of power, and now so many more in this world know it. We look forward to whatever is next for you. I know you want it to be Brandon Moreno. We'll see how it all plays out come their fight in January. But no matter what, congratulations on a massive win. It, you know. This is for New Zealand. I know we've been doing it rough lately, especially in the last few months, but um, that was for you guys. I hope you um, celebrate. It's a party, and um, I'll be back home to celebrate, so let's go. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.